Hey, well you may be like me and are kind of confused on how to do a schoolie or van conversion floor. I started with a sound insulation. It's also it's called Killmat. Link it down below. And I used it because I was worried about sound while driving in the living space. It is very easy to install. All you gotta do is make sure the surface you're applying it on is clean and then just stick it down and roll it. You really wanna make sure to roll it, make sure it's stuck. I also put it on the ceiling to help with wind noise and I also put it on the walls. Now with foam, I used XPS about one inch thick and it has an R rating of five. I chose it because it has a high crust resistance and I didn't want to frame the floor. And for the plywood, I used three quarter tongue and groove. I used three quarter because it's thicker and I will have less flex. And I also used tongue and groove so that my seams are more rigid. And for the glue, I used Loctite PL400 and it's a general subfloor glue and you really wanna make sure you let it dry for about 24 hours before you do the next steps. Now the problems I encountered. First one, the glue was not enough to hold the floor down. So I used some three inch self-tapping screws that went through the plywood, through the foam, into our metal sheeting under the floor. The floor was coming up is because the bus does shift and the plywood and foam had some sort of bend to it, so it didn't quite adhere properly. The next problem is I was too exact with my cutting of plywood, so I ran into some clearance issues. So just really make sure you cut a little undersized, about an eighth inch or an eighth inch on each side. Hey guys, I'm gonna butt in here for just a little bit in the middle of this video. Check in the description below of all the products that we use. I'm gonna try to list as many as I can remember, just so you guys can get a good list of what you need for this build. And also check out my other videos. I got two videos about this floor of when we actually did it, so check those out down below. And now let's continue this video. Now installation went pretty easy on the foam. Just make sure you put enough glue down. I used a trowel to make sure there was ridges in that glue so then it will lay pretty flat. Try to cut your foam so that your seams don't match up. So starting with a smaller piece of foam in the beginning and then slowly staggering up with full pieces. And then putting your plywood in, I went lengthwise so I had to just cut off about six inches. Making sure you use a lot of glue and trowel it to make those ridges so that it lays flat. And then when you're sliding your pieces in, make sure you put enough pressure on top, either with screws or I also used cinder blocks and sitting on it to make sure it's really squished in. For the screws, I just used regular three inch self tapping screws and I put a little hole that the head of the screw can sit in so that it sits pretty flat on the plywood. Now I hope that helped you and you're less confused like I was about a month and a half ago and check out my other videos, check the description as always and I'll see you in the next video.